Good morning, St Luke's. Welcome to our first daily Bible reading for this week. Uh, if you're with us on Sunday mornings, you'll know that we are looking at each of Jesus's I am statements in John's Gospel. Uh, however, on Sunday, when we looked at I am the gate, uh, the gap between that and I am the good shepherd, well, it's pretty much non-existent. Uh, so we haven't got any sort of passages to infill, if you like, during this week. Uh, so we're going to take a slight diversion and look at the origins of the I am introductory words that Jesus uses. You see, it's no accident that he chooses to use that sort of preface before his description of himself. Actually, what we're going to find is that it has a deep context and deep significance uh, rooted in the Old Testament uh, that we do very well to be aware of. Uh, and so we're going to start back in the book of Exodus uh, and we're going to look in particular at Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 to 14. But you do well to look at uh, the whole of chapter 3 verses 1 to 20. That'll help you both today and tomorrow. So just briefly to set the context, God has appeared uh, to Moses at the burning bush. Of course, the bush itself isn't actually burning. It's not being consumed, is it? That's the, the miracle that catches Moses's attention. And then uh, having appeared and spoken, uh, God commissions God, uh, sorry, God commissions Moses in verse 10. And in return, Moses then asks, well, uh, when he is describing who has sent him, both to the Hebrews and to the Egyptians, uh, he, what is his name? That's the question that he wants to be able to give uh, to those to whom he is being sent. See, maybe Moses knows, and actually we can see through the pages of the Bible, that names are very significant. Uh, they reflect identity and they often, are, often also describe both character and mission. For example, think of Eve. Uh, she is so named as the mother of all the living. Genesis chapter 3 verse 20. And Jesus himself is so called because he will save the people from their sins. In Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And so in Exodus chapter 3 verse 14, God proclaims his own name. I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Out of reverence, uh, whenever this name is actually recorded in the Bible, it's usually capitalised and written Lord. You might hear it variously referred to as Yahweh or Jehovah. In translation, uh, it could reliably be translated either I am who I am or I have always been who I have always been or I will be who I will be. The point being made, God is, has been and always will be, past, present and future. His name reflects this. Now, the past and the future we'll consider a little bit tomorrow. For the moment, let's just simply dwell on the name of God as I am who I am. To think of another way, uh, when asked who God is, it is answered, if you like, he exists. I am. God is self-determining. We cannot ask of God, how or why do you exist? Because the answer would correctly come back to us, because I do. There is no reality or force, you see, that exists behind God, upon which he is either dependent or which exerts influence upon him. God exists as he is, and he does not change or alter. And so God is therefore also the benchmark for his own identity. He sets the terms of it. How often might we hear somebody say to us, or maybe we ourselves have done it, said, I like to think of God as. Well, actually, such a line of thinking or speaking is complete nonsense, really. God is who he says he is. Moses wants to know who is sending him. Uh, but the answer is not a matter of interpretation. I am who I am, declares God. The theologian J.I. Packer, uh, at the start of his classic book, Knowing God, analyses the weakness of the modern church as having a preoccupation with religious practices in an irreligious world. And this leads to an ignorance of God 
and how to commune with him. It's an idea worth pondering whether we are overly concerned uh, with our religious practices in an irreligious world. I think it's very true of us as Christians. We're often keen to consider quite practical topics, how we do things and uh, how we should behave. Uh, but we keep God at a distance, failing to truly know him. In John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus tells the Jews, Before Abraham was born, I am. In Jesus Christ, we have revealed to us the God who exists, whose personality and power owes its nature only to himself, who never changes, who is the source and sustainer of all energy and power in the universe, and to whom all creation should seek to conform itself. This is a truly staggering claim, a truly staggering God, and to know God is to know Jesus Christ. And we pray for us. Heavenly Father, this morning we, may we meditate and contemplate on your identity. May we simply consider who you are and allow you to be the centre point of our lives in every manner. By your Holy Spirit, would you enable us to know you as you are. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.